694 sexual assault kits. It's not a number, it's a person. There's 694 names associated with that number 694, and there's 694 stories. They've been tested at this police lab at Fresno State, but they still await investigation from the Fresno Police Department. Our primary goal here is to get justice for the victims, and if there is a wrong, then we want to right that wrong. Lieutenant Tom LeBan eagerly awaits a million dollar federal grant. It will fund two detectives to investigate the cold case rape kits. We knew when these kits got sent off that they would come back with returns, information, sometimes uh, a DNA match or a DNA hit. And so now we have to follow up on those. LeBan knows opening up cold cases can be hard for the victims. Now we're reopening old wounds, we're contacting them, and we have to tread very carefully here. We, uh, we want to be very mindful of their feelings and their current situation, and this is where the Rape Counseling Services Advocate comes in and uh, plays a major role for us. Nadia Parks works as an advocate. Our role isn't to convince. Our role is to provide those options and to empower them with whatever decision they choose to make, whether it be to go forward or to not. But we definitely take the time to give them, you know, if you decide to do this, these are the cons of what's going to happen. These are the pros and letting them know that either way, we're going to support you. But we just want to be sure that you're fully aware of all of your options. Why is there an investigative backlog? LeBan says there are more cases than what can be handled. There's obviously a capacity issue here. We're fortunate, very fortunate to have the state of California Department of Justice Crime Lab located here in Fresno. They're the gold standard when it comes to tests and what the courts will accept. Unfortunately, this lab is uh, servicing a wide area. How do victims feel? Some people may, may feel frustrated. Some people may feel, you know, sad. Everyone's going to have different reactions and emotions and we're there to, you know, let them know that we understand, but to also assure them that, again, they were not forgotten and that, you know, sometimes things do take time. Fresno City Council will vote on accepting the funds at this week's meeting. David Taub, GV Wire.